welcome to java forum now we are going to see how to install rocky linux 9.0 on virtualbox 6.1 with guest editions so rocky linux uh, 9.0 is a much awaited release so rocky linux had started uh, uh, because uh, centos 9 project was uh, drop so it's alternate for centos uh, so let us uh, go to the uh, installation of uh, virtual machine. So first I am creating one new Rocky Linux 9.0 virtual machine with 8 GB of RAM and 40 GB of dynamically allocated uh, virtual hard drive. So uh, in settings, uh, going to system, motherboard, uh, and checking floppy. In boot order, optical device will be the first one and also selecting USB tablet. Uh, processor, I am allocating 4 core processor. Storage, I am selecting the Rocky Linux 9.0 DVD ISO file which I already downloaded. So I am selecting the Rocky Linux ISO file. So network, uh, I am not going to download anything from internet. So it's a local install. So I am going for a host only adapter. So rest of the things uh, remain unchanged. Okay, now we are ready for installation. Uh, let me start the Rocky Linux. 9.0 virtual machine in order to proceed the installation so boot menu is arrived select install rock linux 9.0 so uh, installation screen had arrived select the english as a default language So installation summary page and I'm selecting the time zone as per my location. Software selection is soft server with guy and I am selecting the installation destination also. So provide the root password. So here I am providing a weak password because I am not uh, using this in live or production. For convenient, I am providing the weak password. Provide strong password. Please provide strong password when you use it in live or production. Okay, uh, everything is fine. Begin the installation. So installation is completed. Uh, plus, uh, press the reboot screen. Reboot system. Yeah. So you can see that uh, Rocky Linux 9.0 is rebooted successfully. Yes, so this is the welcome screen once you log in. Okay, uh, click the show applications button. So you can go to settings. So left you can see a lot of settings are there. You can adjust whatever you need. Uh, so I am adjusting uh, screen resolution as per my need. So this is my screen resolution. Okay. So everything is fine here. Now what I am going to do is uh, I am going to install uh, VirtualBox dependencies that is what uh, RPMs required by virtual box guest edition. So what I am doing is, I am going to mount the Rocky Linux uh, 9 DVD ISO file. So this DVD ISO file contains whatever the RPMs required for virtual box guest editions. So let us go to the uh, DVD. So before that I am creating one directory 
uh, vbox underscore dependencies so here only i'm going to copy all the rpms from dvd okay so all the rpms are available in appstream and base os folders so here you can see that uh, in uh, rocky linux dvd rpms are uh, available in alphabetical order so these are the rpms i have copied from uh, dvd from appstream and base os directories so i have copied to separate folders around 13 rpm packages are there uh, so i am going to install these 13 packages in a single shot uh, login as a root user login as a root user only root user can install the rpms so this is the command uh, for installing rpms so in single shot i am installing all these rpms around uh, 13 rpm is in, uh, required for uh, virtual box so make sure that you updated the updated to latest virtual box so here i am using virtual box 6.1.36 because latest virtual box uh, contains the uh, support for uh, latest kernel latest uh, linux kernel that is 5.14 so rpm install is successful now i am unmounting this disk Next, I am going to mount the virtual box uh, guest edition CD image. So, insert guest edition CD image. S yes. So, now what I am going to do is, I am going to uh, copy all the virtual box guest edition installation files to one directory. Because I have faced some issue while running directly. So, I am copying all the installation file that is guest edition installation file to separate directory. Okay, now once again I am going to terminal. Uh, make sure you login as a root user. Go to the guest edition folder. Uh, give the permission. Yes, now I am going to run dot vbox linux additions dot run. Yes. So now you can see that uh, installation is uh, successful. So I didn't see any error messages. Make sure that you have updated the uh, to latest uh, virtual box. Okay, so now I am shutting down the Rocky Linux. Okay, uh, go to settings. General, ad sorry. Uh, in system, I am changing the boot order and general advanced select the share clipboard bidirectional drag and drop bidirectional that's it start the rocky linux yes uh, i can able to see screen resolution is ad adjusted automatically uh, which means uh, guest edition is working fine go to show applications so you can see uh, these are the applications installed by default all are uh, lightweight applications only disk analyzers system monitors calculator so basic applications will be there so you can install uh, packages or applications uh, as per your need okay everything is fine now let me uh, open calculator how it is oh okay good look
Okay, now let me open the terminal. So uh, I am running some commands. Uh, so I am going to check whether uh, drag, uh, sorry, shared clipboard is working or not. So what I am going to do is I am going to copy this uh, terminal output to Windows host machine. Copy this output. So in Windows host machine, I am copying to the notepad. Yes, I can able to copy. So share clipboard is working. Let me type some word in uh, Windows notepad and try to copy to uh, Rocky Linux 9. Okay, copy, paste it. Yes, so I can able to copy paste. Share clipboard is working fine. So let me check what are the uh, programming languages are available by default. Java is not available by default. Python 3.10 is available by default. And Perl 5.3 is available by default. So Rocky Linux 9 virtual machine is installation is successful.